your mother's ever been to me, and I want to keep it that way. You got pedestrian versus auto, head contusion, brief LOC, broken arm, vitals are stable. What's over, Junie? Uh, curtain three. Curtain three? Cerebral palsy? I don't know. Someone clipped his wheelchair. Couldn't tell us if he was hurt or not. No one was with him. Nope. Just found him on the street. Okay, sir, can you tell me your name? No, it's no use. You can't understand him. You might have a, uh, a subdural that could impair his speech. We should get a head CT. How do you do a neuro exam? It would help if we knew his baseline. Okay. Sir, can you, can you push it against my hand? All right, let's start with the C spine. Yeah, um, what is it? Auto versus pedestrian possible head injury. What's the problem? Cerebral palsy. He's uh, tough to assess and we don't want to hurt him. All right. Call me at the first sign of arrhythmia. Are you sure it's CP? He might be posturing. No, he's conscious. Well, is he on any meds? Uh, I don't know. He has no family. We can't understand what he's saying. Did you check? <laughs> How about your fingers? Just do that? <laughs> How about your fingers? What are you doing? We were supposed to examine him like he's any other patients. By like pinning his arm down? I'm trying to isolate finger motion. You're not afraid of hurting him? Actually, yes. He's been trying to tell me something. Uh, head CT's normal. No subdural bleeds. No sign of brain abnormalities. Hey, he opened his hand. Hey, how about that? Oh, he's got a bad lack. Yep. He might have cut a tendon. Well, they didn't teach you about this sort of stuff in med school, did they? Well, I guess we can call a hand surgeon down here. Yep. What did you do? Nothing. Was he having a seizure or something? I, I, don't, I don't know. We'll start looking for him soon. Yeah, what if he's homeless? <laughs> he couldn't survive out on the street alone. <laughs> the cops are uh, checking the neighborhood now. I can't live that far away. Hey. Hey, take it easy. Take it easy. It's okay. Why, why does he keep banging like that? Maybe he's trying to tell us something. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't understand. What was that, ring? Ring? Wait, ring what? A, a phone? You want us to call somebody? Mm -hmm. Uh, lie still if that's what you want us to do. If you want us to... Yes. For? For, for, for what? You giving us your telephone number? Four is the first number of your telephone? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Then what? Four, then what? Two. Two? I was about going out of my mind. I can't believe he was able to give us your phone number. Mr. Lorenzo, I am so sorry. I lost all track of time. I just had I'm sorry, John Carter. You understand him? Catherine Dunlap. I'm Mr. Lorenzo's personal assistant. It takes a while to get the accent. Accent? He says you're a little slow, but he'll forgive you. <laughs> Thanks. Um, can, can you tell him that they need to operate on his hand? You just did. He understands English. It's one of his many languages. He's one of the world's leading experts in hieroglyphics. Oh, that's fascinating. I understood that. Shocking. Would you excuse me for a second? Thank you. You're welcome, Mr. Lorenzo. <laughs>